In Jesus' name, Amen. Amen. Thank you. Well, good morning, everybody. May I add my welcome to you all on this celebration Sunday. I just want to reiterate what a wonderful time we had yesterday afternoon sharing fellowship over a cup of tea uh, and cake. I think everybody enjoyed it, especially my little black Labrador dog. Uh, but she didn't put off her dinner later in the evening. So we're here. We gather to worship the one who created us, the one who calls us, the one who equips us, the one who loves us without end. We remember that God is a God of the past, the present and the future. So with joyful hearts, let us worship our God. The hymn is number... 82. O oh Lord, my God, when I in awesome wonder.
to that, how great is our God. Um, it is my joy and privilege to be here with you uh, to lead worship this morning, but it's with some sadness as well, because I know that the Reverend Tony Pick and his wife Joy were looking so much to being with you and leading this service of celebration today. <coughs> But I spoke to Tony yesterday and he sent you much love and he's looking forward to the service being rescheduled and we will celebrate this anniversary <laughs> at some time later in the year. But in the meantime, we're here and God is here and we bring our pray praises, so let us pray. Loving and holy God, as we come together today to share a time of celebration over this weekend for our anniversary, may we be aware that you are with us. In our worship, may your name be glorified as we sing, pray and reflect. To you, our God, we come with joy and we bring you our praise. Amen. Amen. We're now going to hear um, a psalm, uh, Psalm 92, which is number 817 in Singing the Faith. And I'm going to read this light type, and I asked you to join in with the dark type. It is a good thing to give thanks to the Lord. And, and to sing praises, praises to your name, my most high. To tell of your love early in the morning. And of your faithfulness in the night time. Upon the ten-stringed instrument, upon the harp. And, and to the, the melody of the lyre. For you, Lord, have made me glad by your acts. And I sing aloud of the works of your hands. O oh Lord, how glorious are your works. Your thoughts are very deep. The senseless do not know. Nor do fools understand. The, though the wicked sprout like grass. And all the workers of iniquity flourish. It is only to be destroyed forever. That you, O Lord, shall be exalted forevermore. For lo, your enemies, O Lord, Lord, lo, your enemies shall perish. And all the workers of iniquity shall be scattered. But my horn you have exalted like the horns of wild oxen. I am anointed with fresh oil. My eyes will look down on my foes. My ears shall hear the ruin of the evildoers who rise up against me. The righteous shall flourish like a palm tree and shall spread upon the Lord like the cedar of Zion. Such as a planted in the house of the Lord shall flourish in the courts of our God. They shall still bear fruit in old age. They shall be vigorous and in full leaf that they may show that the Lord is true. He is my rock, and there is no unrighteousness in him. That song um, speaks to me. Um, particularly the latter two verses where it says uh, the righteous shall flourish like a palm tree and shall spread abroad like, broad like a cedar of Lebanon. Such are planted in the house of the Lord and shall flourish in the courts of our God. And they shall still bear fruit in old age. They shall be vigorous and in full leaf that they may show that the Lord is true is my rock, is our rock, and there is no unrighteousness in him. So I think that's a word to each one of us 
that even in our older age, the Lord hasn't finished with us yet and he's going to produce much fruit for us to enjoy in the days ahead. Such is our God, so as we meditate on that, we give God all the glory as we sing our next hymn, which is number 94, to God be the glory, great things he has done and greater things still he is going to do. Accept our worship 
as we remember that you are God of the past, the present and the future. You are God of eternity. Fill us afresh with wonder, Lord, as we remember that you are the same yesterday, today and forever. And as we look forward to the weeks and months to come, we pray for an awareness of your love and support in all we do. And we are sorry if we only seem to turn to you in the down times of our lives and forget to thank you for the good times. There is so much in your world for which we should be grateful. Be with us and all who need your loving touch and peace. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord and our Saviour. We now keep a time of silence for each one of us to bring our heartfelt prayers to God. to sing again now in number 81 now thank we all our God
family is lit as we offer a prayer offering our thoughts for the world. Loving God, at this time of escalating tension, we pray with people around the world for peace to prevail. Loving God, we pray that you would move in their hearts and guide their steps and plans. Especially at this time, we bring to you Ukraine and Russia. We pray that it would be a place where corruption is no more. And so we pray for leaders of both countries to know God's truth and peace and be transformed by his Holy Spirit as they would seek to lead their countries in the ways of peace. So we keep silence as we think not just of Ukraine and Russia, but all the deprived and war-torn areas in this beautiful world that God created. The Lord hears our prayers. And so God of the nations, whose sovereign rule brings justice and peace, have mercy on our broken and divided world. Shed abroad your peace in the hearts of all, and banish from them the spirit that makes for war that all races and people may learn to live as members of one family and in obedience to your law, through your Son, Jesus Christ, who is our Lord and Saviour. Amen. Amen. The Lord hears our prayers, so we bring all our prayers together and this worship to him as we say together the prayer that Jesus <coughs> taught us, the Lord's Prayer. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our debts, as we forgive those who debt against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. And forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. Today we have gathered to celebrate, to give thanks and to pray. And today we celebrate everything that has brought us joy here in this chapel and to praise God for his love and faithfulness. In the days that are past, for every time we have come depressed and discouraged and have gone out again with a light 
of hope in our hearts. God has been here. For every time we have come in sorrow and found comfort for the wounds upon our hearts, for every time we have come in temptation and found his grace which alone can keep us clean, God has been here. For every sermon that has been preached from the pulpit, for every visit that has been made in the homes of this congregation, for all those who in their days of darkness have been pointed to the light that never fades, and who in the days of sorrow have found the joy that no one takes from them. For every time when we have knelt at the table of our Lord and taken the bread and the cup of his love in our hands and upon our lips, God has been here. For all who in this church have pledged their faith in marriage, for every baby born to one of our families, for all those who in childhood and youth were taught and trained in the faith until they publicly confessed their faith and were baptised into the Lord Jesus Christ, God has been here. For all who have served nobly and served well and have now gone to their rest, for the blessed saints who rest from their labours, for the unseen cloud of witness who encompass us about, God has been here. <coughs> On this anniversary weekend, may this church continue to be a place where people find Jesus as their friend and saviour. A place where men and women glimpse the vision splendid, where they find strength for the long haul and the steep climb, and where those whose day is coming to an end find light at eventide. For the sorrowing may they find comfort and may the weary rest. May the doubting find certainty and tempted strength. May the seeker find truth and the sinner forgiveness. May the lonely find God's friendship and the friendship of their fellow human beings so that all loneliness may be taken away. God is here now. May you, his people, receive a fresh anointing as you journey with God and know the encompassing arms of Jesus enfolding you. God is here, bringing the love and joy of heaven to earth through each one of us. <coughs> such amazing love, such divine love. So our closing hymn is number 503, Love Divine or Love's Excess. <coughs>
the blessing of God the Father, God the Son and God the Holy Spirit be with you, with those who you love and those who love you. Go in peace to love and serve our God in the name of Christ. Amen. Amen. <coughs> There will be coffee and cake in the large hall for those who you would like to have some. I hope you'll be able to share. And also, we have our special book. If you haven't yet written in it, it would be lovely if you could do so. Have a look at our brochures. Our, take them with you. Yes, take them with you. They are made for you to take. And this is for your comments past, present or future, or you might just like to write your name in the book. Thank you. I'm, I'm so sorry, Mike, you interrupted the lovely playing. I'm ever so sorry. <laughs> <laughs>